Good morning. Good morning. Okay. <clears throat> so good morning everybody. Um right now. Oh, give me a second, please. Okay. So you have homework, so now you're going to compare your answers. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yeah. remember you have to compare answers, okay, for this activity. Okay. okay, now let's go to form groups. Good morning. Good morning. Karina Campos. Hello, Karina. Mm -hmm. Okay, join your groups, please. Mm -hmm. Join your groups, please. Please, please, please. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Angie. Yo lo voy a cambiar, Angie. Okay, now please, uh, Angie, join your group. Okay, thank you, teacher. Elisa, join your group. Hello, Ingrid, join your group, please. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ingrid, join your group, please. Álvaro César, join your groups, please. Hello, hola. Hello, Álvaro, join your group, please. No me estoy solo. ¿Cómo estás, no creo? Eh, porque tienes que darle a unirse. Bien. Creo que le puedo enviar de nuevo porque no me sale. Pero... Mm, ok. ¿Pero ahora? Sí, sí, ahí me Okay, Anya, join your group, please. Anya. 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 No, Álvaro, tienes que darle unirse porque si no, no te va a salir el grupo. A ver. 
¿No te salió a unirse? No, no. Ya como unirse. Hello, did you finish? No, teacher. Mm, ok. Pero, ¿por qué no hicieron su tarea? Oh, porque, what? No, teacher, yo todavía no tengo mi libro. Okay. He dicho para, para ir a recogerlo. Pero me dijo que le iba a avisar al profesor. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, 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 estoy esperando que me haya razón. Me diga algo, pero le he mandado al grupo de WhatsApp y le imagino igual. Y tenían que haberlo resuelto hace dos días. De hecho, yo sí lo resuelto, solo que no tengo cómo cotejar mis respuestas con mi compañera. Ah, ok. Ok, voy a entrar una, otra, otra compañera en el grupo para que también puedan votar las cosas, ¿ok? Yeah. Ok, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jan. Teacher, sorry por, por entrar tarde. No, no problem. Gracias, teacher. Okay, join your group, please. Okay. So now, please, it's time to compare activity B and activity C. Okay, in groups, one more time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so remember, please, activity B and activity C, compare your answers. Okay, to compare answers, only four minutes. Okay, so let's go one more time with the groups.
Okay, compare your answers, please. Go. <laughs> Join your groups. Join your groups, Chloe, please. Dicho, yo estaba en el grupo y se salió. Oh, wow. Let, let's see. Yo, yo, yo pensé que yo, que yo se había terminado la, la reunión digo, del grupo. Mm, Automáticamente no. se salió. No, no, no. Espera, espera, todavía no aprieto nada. Okay. Hello, Franco. ¿Sale David algo? Franco, unirse, ¿te sale? Este, sí lo puede escuchar a usted. No, pero ¿te sale unirse? No. Okay, un momento. Lady. Lady, eh, dale la parte que dice salir de la sala para que eh, hables con tu compañero que está fuera de la sala. Okay. Oh, Franco y Lady, please. Ya <laughs> en... En el B, en la 1. ¿En la 1? Sí. Day 1, ahí. Ajá. En 2, what? How was the food? En la 3, where you? Where it? La... La... la página 71 y uno, esa setenta y tres, a setenta y tres, ya está bien, ya, ya está bien. Ya. A ver. Dame... Lara. Hola, Lara. Lara, no se te escucha. Y ahora está teniendo problemas de conectividad, creo. Uh -huh. Pero qué raro que sea el audio que no se escucha. Ajá. Vamos a hacer algo. Ay, es tiempo de teacher. terminar. Gracias. A ver, vamos a ver si, si se arregla terminando todo. Uh -huh. No, maestra. 
Okay. Um, la verdad verdadera. Um, ¿Alguno? ¿Quién está teniendo problemas de conectividad? Yo, teacher. Yo, teacher. Yo, profe. Ya. Yo, teacher. ¿Cuál fue su pregunta, profesor? Mi pregunta, uno más uno. No, mentira. Sí, el problema de conexión a internet. Yo recién me conecto, no he estado como cuatro días sin entrar. No, pero ahorita está fallando, teacher. No, ahorita no. Bueno, en ese se le escucha entre uh, Meli, ¿me escuchas? Sí, teacher. Es muy, es muy bueno, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, creo que ya se arregló, así que... Okay, let's do the activity together. So, activity B. Okay, complete the sentences with was or were. Watch and what. So, number one. We didn't enjoy our vacation. The weather... Was very bad. Was. Was, was very was. bad. Number two, was. how the food was. 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 was was the food. Okay, was. you blah blah blah. You tired when you got home. Where? 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 Huh? Why? Where? Why? Because you you you. you. Uh. Okay. Pero you no es singular. You it's singular and plural. Yeah. And remember, la... you is singular oh. and plural. Both. El are you, no? Yeah. So I was, 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 was really interested in the ruins. They were amazing. Number five, blah, 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 blah the hotel clean. Was, was the hotel clean? Okay. Good. Any questions here? No. No. Okay. Excellent. Now activity C. Complete the sentences with the correct forms of to be. So the verb be. Last year we went diving at Palau Sipadan, Malaysia. It was. It was, was amazing. There. Where? There were. Where? Why where? No, lots of lots. Ah, because it's it's plural. Turtles. Yes. Where, where turtles? So plural. We saw some hammerhead sharks as well. We also went to Barracuda Point, but unfortunately there. Where? Where? What is the what is the noun here in this sentence? But unfortunately, there blah blah blah. Any barracuda. What is the noun? Where? Was. 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 Quieren alguna. Uh, what is the noun? Not the verb. The noun. Any barracuda. Barracuda. Okay. This is the noun, and it's singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Sí, no, so was or were? Was. 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 And now any is for positive or negative? Negative. 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 Was. Wasn't. Wasn't. Uh -huh. There wasn't. But unfortunately, there wasn't any barracuda. It the wrong time of the of year. What? It was the wrong time of year. We stayed at the dive center and the food was 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 the rooms where 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 okay good excellent good job okay so I need a volunteer to read to read this last year blah 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 Okay, I need one volunteer. I need one me, me, me. Yo, teacher. Uh, yo, no. In English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm Miguel. Me. Okay, Miguel, right? 
Yeah. Uh, go. It was amazing. There were oh, oh, lots last year, of. Last year. Ah, yeah. Last year we went diving at Palos Paida, Malaysia. Malaysia. It was amazing. There were lots of turtles, and we saw some hammerhead sharks as well. We also went to Barbacoa Point, but unfortunately, there wasn't any Barracuda. It was the wrong time of year. We stayed at the dive center and the food was excellent. The rooms were spotless. Very good, excellent. Thank you so much, Miguel. I need one more volunteer, one more me, me, me. Me, teacher, Diana. Okay, Diana, thank you. Go, one, two, three. Last year we went diving at Pulau Spidan, Malaysia. It was amazing. There were lots of turtles and we saw some homie hit sharks as well. We also went to Barracuda Point, but unfortunately there wasn't any Barracuda. It was the wrong, wrong, wrong time of year. We stay, stayed at dive center and the food was excellent. The rooms were spotless. Thank you. Thank you, Liana. Excellent. Now, I need one more me, me, me. Me, teacher. Okay, Brenda. One, two, three. Go. Last year, we began diving at Palau Sipra, Malaysia. It was amazing. There were a lot of turtles, and we see some hammerhead sharks as well. We also went to Barracuda Point, but unfortunately, there wasn't any barracuda. It was the ground time of year. We stayed at the dive center and the food was excellent. The rooms were spotless. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, any questions about vocabulary or maybe pronunciation? Any questions? Um, Hammerhead sharks. What? Hammerhead. Oh, this is hammerhead. 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 What is hammerhead? Cabeza de martillo. Cabeza de martillo. Ah, very good. Cabeza de martillo. Oh, it's first martillo, I think, right? Tiburón martillo. Ese que tiene así en el martillo. Okay. Any other questions? About the vocabulary? What? Ah, the pronunciation? Yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. Natly, Natly. Uh -huh. Okay. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And you have to just to speak fast. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other questions? Maybe pronunciation, vocabulary. Word. The word. The ah this. This is uh the wrong. The, the wrong, time. wrong, wrong, like Tyrone, Tyrone, wrong, wrong, wrong. Ah, you don't, you don't pronounce, you don't pronounce this. Oh, you don't pronounce this wrong, wrong, mm -hmm. wrong. wrong, the wrong time of year. Any other questions? Spotless. Spotless in pronunciation or in Spanish? In Spanish. How do you say spotless, everybody, in Spanish? 
Impecable. Impecable, ya, impecable. Impecable. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No? No. No. No more. No more. No more. What is I think? In this case, to sell. Okay, excellent. Good job. Now we have to go with the next part. And this is the cradle of the Inca Empire. Okay, did you watch the video? Yes. Yes. So it was a National Geographic video, I think. Yes. Yes. It was nice, documentary. Um, so let's see. What is this? What is this place? Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. And in what city Machu is Machu Picchu? Mm. What place? Cusco. Cusco. In what country? Peru. Oh, you live in Peru. Right? No more, no less, no less, no menos. Okay. So, have you visited, uh, uh, visitado, have you visited Machu Picchu? Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Okay, well. Plaza de Armas. Okay. I am poor. Okay, yeah. Es cerca, pero la vez. Plaza de Armas, no. Yeah. Plaza de Armas. Well, me, personally, I haven't, I haven't visited Machu Picchu. No yet. Okay. But I think it's very, very nice. Okay, and look, look at this picture. Wow, this is an old Así picture. Era. It says the year. Mm -hmm. No, pero ese fue el año que Iran descubrió Machu Picchu. Maybe, yeah. 19. Wow. Nice. Oh. Now we have to go to the to the article, okay? And okay, so I have to play the audio. I'm gonna play the audio, okay? And you have to listen to the pronunciation, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, so please, you have to pay attention to the pronunciation and also, if you don't understand words, specific words, you have to circle or you can write, okay, the word. Is this clear? Yes. 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 Okay, remember, if you don't understand the word, relax, calm down, relax, write the word. And when we finish, we can translate to Spanish. Okay, so let's listen. Unit 6. The Cradle of the Inca Empire Most people travel for vacations, but some people travel to explore and discover new places. In 1911, Hiram Bingham, an American archaeologist, traveled to Peru where he discovered Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas. Read his report on the discovery. In 1911, I went to Cusco in Peru looking for ancient Inca ruins. We left Cusco and traveled to the modern city of Urubamba. We then continued down the Urubamba River until we came to a beautiful little town of Ollantaytambo. We continued down the river and six days after we left Cusco, we arrived at a place called Mandor Pampa. A man came and introduced himself as Arteaga and I asked him about ruins. He told us of some ruins in the mountains called Machu Picchu. I offered to pay him 50 cents per day to take us to the ruins, and he agreed. The next day, we crossed the river and began an exhausting climb. At noon, we arrived at a little grass hut. The people there were very friendly and gave us some boiled potatoes and cool water. The view was magnificent. The water was delicious, but there were no ruins. However, we continued upward until at last we arrived on top of the mountain. Immediately we saw some ancient Inca walls made of white stone. I knew at once that this was a truly amazing discovery. 
I returned to Machu Picchu in 1912, and we began to clear the forest. We started to see the ruins, and they were outstanding. The walls are made from enormous stones, and as we continued to clear the forest, we discovered more and more ruins. At last, the lost city of Machu Picchu appeared before us. Okay, so listen to the, to the reading one more time, okay? Because I will have volunteers to read the text. Unit 6. The Cradle of the Inca Empire. Most people travel for vacations, but some people travel to explore and discover new places. In 1911, Hiram Bingham, an American archaeologist, traveled to Peru where he discovered Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas. Read his report on the discovery. In 1911, I went to Cusco in Peru looking for ancient Inca ruins. We left Cusco and traveled to the modern city of Urubamba. We then continued down the Urubamba River until we came to a beautiful little town of Ollantaytambo. We continued down the river and six days after we left Cusco, we arrived at a place called Mandor Pampa. A man came and introduced himself as Arteaga and I asked him about ruins. He told us of some ruins in the mountains of Machu Picchu. I offered to pay him 50 cents per day to take us to the ruins, and he agreed. The next day, we crossed the river and began an exhausting climb. At noon, we arrived at a little grass hut. The people there were very friendly and gave us some boiled potatoes and cool water. The view was magnificent. The water was delicious, but there were no ruins. However, we continued upward until at last we arrived on top of the mountain. Immediately we saw some ancient Inca walls made of white stone. I knew at once that this was a truly amazing discovery. I returned to Machu Picchu in 1912 and we began to clear the forest. We started to see the ruins and they were outstanding. The walls are made from enormous stones and as we continued to clear the forest we discovered more more ruins. At last, the lost city of Machu Picchu appeared before us. Okay. So, so first, I need. Um, let's see. I need one volunteer. Two volunteers. I need three volunteers and I need four volunteers. So volunteer number one, who is volunteer number one? Me teacher. Okay, yeah. Catherine Villodas, thank you. Most people? Most people travel for vacation, but some people travel to explore and discover new places. In 1911, Hiram Biham, an American archaeologist, traveled to Peru, where mm -hmm. he discovered Machu Picchu, the last city of the Incas. Read his report of the discovery. Thank you so much. Now, the name is Hiram Brigham. Brigham. Okay. Hiram Brigham. And the, the occupation, the occupation mm -hmm. is archaeologist. Mm -hmm. Okay, archaeologist. And the rest, excellent. Thank you so much, Katrin. Volunteer number two. Okay, Brenda. In 1911, I went to Cusco in Peru looking for ancient Inca ruins. We left Cusco and traveled to the modern city of Urubamba. We then continued down the urban river until we came to the beautiful little town of Ollantaytambo. We continued down the, the river and six days after we left Cusco, we arrived at a place called Mandorpampa and then came and introduced himself as Arteaga. And I asked 
him about rains. He took up uh, some rains in the mountain. Called Machu Picchu. I offered to pay him fifty cents per day, and he. Thank you so much, Brenda. Okay, now this is ancient. 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 Okay, ancient. Ruins. Ruins. Okay. Ancient Inca ruins. Okay, this is river. Okay, river. Mm -hmm. This is a man came. Okay. Okay, came. This is, how do you pronounce this? Cold. 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 Uh -huh, with D, with D, D, not T. With D. Cold. 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 Okay, so we arrived at a place called Mandor Pampa. Okay? Now, and this is mountains. Okay? Mountains. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Brenda. Excellent job. Now, I need one more volunteer here. One more, me, me, me. Uh, yo sé que Kiara, Kiara quiere participar, pero no se escucha, Kiara. Kiara, intenta eso. Sale y reingresa. Espero que se re... Ok. Um, one more, me, 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 here. No se peleen, please. Okay, right, so no volunteers. Okay, I, I, I am going to choose the volunteer. Oh, okay, thank you. Kathy, Mori? Yes. Okay, so go. Uh, the next day, we crossed the river and began an exhausting climb. And now we arrived at a little grass hut. The people there were very friendly and gave us some boiled potatoes and cool waiters. Uh, the view was magnificent, the weather was delicious, but there were no winds. However, we continued upward until at last we arrived on top of the mountain. Immediately, we found some um, ancient, ancient Inca walls made of white stone. I knew at once that we, that this was a truly amazing discovery. Thank you, Kathy. Excellent. Now, this is climb. Climb. Okay, and letter B is not pronounced. Climb. Climb. Okay, climb. 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 This is at noon. Noon. At noon. Okay, we arrive at a little grass hut. Hut. What is a hut? Yeah. Do you remember? Pizza hut. Chosa. What? Chosa. Chosa, yeah. Chosa, cabaña. Okay, good. So remember, this is not hut, hat, no, it's hut. 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 Okay. And this is water. Water. Okay, water. And this is immediately. 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 Okay. Very good, excellent. And please, one more volunteer. One more, me, me, me. Hi, teacher. Okay, Ingrid. Yo, teacher. 
No. I return, I return to Machu Picchu in 1912 and we began to clear the fort. We started to see the ruins and they were outstanding. The walls are made from enormous stones and as we continue to clear the fort, we discovered more and more ruins. At last, the lost city of Machu Picchu and Puri were forced. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Okay, now, this word is returned. Three, two, three. Okay, I returned with D, D, returned. returned. Okay, this is forest. Forest. Okay, forest. Forest. Now, this word standing is clear, but this is outstanding. 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 This um, is um, outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. This is. Not as uh, stones, no. It's only uh, stones. 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 No, no, a. Aquí adelante no a, okay? Stones. So stones. 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 And appeared. 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 Uh, no, with T. T, no, with D. D. Appeared. 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 Before us. Before us. Okay. Before us. Okay. Well, before is. Antes, pero en este caso, before us no es antes de nosotros, no. Delante de nosotros. Uh, Okay, before us. Okay, now let's go with let's go with vocabulary. Any questions about vocabulary? Any questions about vocabulary? No questions about vocabulary. Teacher, yes. uh, la paragraph uh, is uh, himself. In paragraph number two, what, Mavi? And Okay, well, in English, in English, in English. Now, line one, line two, three, four, five, six. Five. Okay. No. One, six, two, six. three, four, five, six. Himself. So himself. Himself. Okay. himself. Okay. So himself in this case is introduce himself. Introduce. How do you say introduce in Spanish? Presentarse. In, in this case, introduce himself is presentarse a él mismo. So se presentó. Okay. Okay. okay, yes, Christian? Yes. What is your question, Christian? You don't have no a question? Questions. Okay. Other questions about vocabulary? Mm. Remember, it's important to understand all, quite all like words, vocabulary, everything. Teacher. Yes, let me know. Uh, ¿Qué significa however? However. In, in English, in English. How do you say? Hey. In English, please, you're busy fine. How do you say however? However. However, in what language? In uh, English, in Italian, in Spanish? <laughs> okay. In Spanish. 
Ahí está en español. Okay, en Spanish. So, however, okay, however, however, is it what, the what paragraph? The what paragraph? One, two, three. 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 In what line? What line? One, two, three. Five four. line. Five. Up here. Three. No. no. Teacher. Teacher. Parágrafo tres. En cuatro. Oh, yeah, this. Okay, yeah. Well, mm. no se cuenta esto como un parágrafo. Okay, déjalo, déjalo. But uh -huh. okay. Okay, so here. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five. Here, however. Okay, however, in Spanish is sin embargo. However. Sin however, is sin embargo. Okay. How do you say upward? Upward, it's here. Upward. Spanish. Upward is hacia arriba in Spanish. Any other questions? Teacher, how do you say algorithm in Spanish? How do you say what? Agreed and to and el, en el segundo para second al último la última la última palabra. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, he agreed. What is agree? The verb is agree. Okay, agree is estar de acuerdo. Okay, estar de acuerdo o acordar. Okay, so he agreed. Es él estuvo de acuerdo o él acordó. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Other questions? No, teacher. Okay. Teacher, outstanding. Yes. Outstanding. What is outstanding? Over here, I think. En el cuarto párrafo. Oh, here. Yeah. How do you say párrafo in English? Paragraph. 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 So in, in English, please, okay? Paragraph number four, paragraph five, one, okay? So in paragraph four, outstanding. How do you say outstanding in Spanish? How do you say outstanding in Spanish? Yesterday, we learned this yesterday. Sobresaliente. Sobresaliente. Outstanding. Any other questions about vocabulary? No questions. Okay. Excellent. So let's continue now. Okay. Um, let's answer the questions now, okay? But you have to answer the questions in groups. So answer the question. What is question number one? Maylene Mendoza. Mm. A ver. ¿Lo leo no, profesor? Yes. Did Hiram Brinham discover Inca ruins in Oyotaytambo? Okay, good. Question number two, please. Yara? How much did he pay at Yara? Very good, thank you. Uh, Angie Diaz, number three. Was declined to match a picture set. Easy? Easy. Uh-huh, thank you. And Franco Pablito Machaca, number four, please. Where did they eat? Where did they eat? Excellent. Now, is this clear? You have to answer the questions. Yes? Mm. Oh, wait, is this clear? Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay, work in groups, ok? Mm. In groups, in groups, in groups, in groups. ¿Te puede mandar la foto del texto, please? Uh, yes. <laughs> ok, ya. Yeah. Yeah, I will send it. Ahí sí. Ok. Please, everybody, participate in your groups. Go, join your groups. Go, 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 go. Join your groups, please. Hi. The number one. Hola, chicas. English. Oh. Hi, girls. Number one, did hi, he, did. La pregunta uno. Inglés. Sí, uno. No, 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 está, no está tan claro. Porque ahí te pregunta que si Javier Amin al descubrir las ruinas en, en Oyatán. Sí, sí, en Oyatán, sí. Hello, did you finish? No, no. Sí. Oh, you are using telepathy. Yeah. Oh, good, good. No, please. Marcela. Teacher. Marcela, ¿qué haces acá, Marcela? Es que la, con la que me tocó se salió, parece que le di miedo. No sé. <risa> Okay. No problema, hola, hola, hola. Un amigo. Álvaro. Sí, profe, se me había salido la llamada. ¿Qué? Sí, no, no, no. Marcela y Álvaro, work together, please. Yeah. And obviously speaking, not with telepathy. Álvaro. ¿A cuánto le costó? Eh, in a little grad hat. Pero vamos a enseñar la respuesta. <ríe> Fue la subida mm. más difícil, fácil, no... ¿Es ¿Sí? No. Poco accesible. No, exhausting. Exhausting. Ah, claro. Exhausting. Pero tendríamos que poner primero no. O sea, no, it did it. No. This is exhausting, creo. No. 
no, 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 ¿cómo diríamos? No fue fácil. No, 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 it isn't. It's for present. How do you use no in the past? No, it isn't. No, in the past. What is the past of the verb being? Mm -hmm. Was. Uh -huh. No. Ah. <laughs> it wasn't. Very good. No, it wasn't. No pueden usar did allí si no usan la pregunta. No, no, it, it didn't, no? No, no puedes decir, no, it didn't. Ah, es verdad que la pregunta es con did. Con did. Yo la confundo con la de arriba. No, no, it wasn't. 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 Is this correct or, but how do you say in the past? Is it a past experience? It is. What is the past of is? So, no, it wasn't. It was. Because it's in the past, simple. Was. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's an experience in the past. Wasn't easy. Entonces, um, practiquemos nuevas preguntas. Yes. A ver, yo inicio. La uno y luego me siguen, ¿no? Um, English. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did Serum be... Hello, did you finish or you are using telepathy? Um, we are... Uh, yeah. did, you we finish, are did you finish, Alejandro? We are discussing the oh, answers, teacher. Okay, okay, excellent. Good job. Outstanding. Magnificent. Okay, so question number one. Did Hiram Brigham discover Inca ruins in Ollantaytambo? No. No, he didn't. No or yes? No. 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 I don't know. So no what? <laughs> Yeah, but let's continue with a complete answer. No, he did. He did. No, he did. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah, yeah very good. He did. Yeah, very good. No, he didn't. He. Well, Hiram, it's a it's a man or a woman. Man. 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 Yeah. So he. Discovered. 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 He discovered it in November. No, no, in in November. Yes. In what place? De hecho, no lo descubrió. Agua, agua. Okay, let's see, let's see. In the mountain. <laughs> yeah, okay. what, is the, what is the answer here? Where is the answer? Sí. Lo que descubrió. 
Ajá. Sí, pero él lo descubrió. Ajá. So he didn't discover. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what it says here. Paragraph yeah. one. So I in 1911 I went to Cusco and Peru looking for ancient Inca ruins. We left Cusco and traveled to the <coughs> city of Urubamba. We then continued down to the Urubamba River until we came to the beautiful little town of Ollantaytambo. We continued down the river and six days after we left Cusco. We arrived at a place called Mandorpampa. A man came and introduced himself as Artiaga and asked him about ruins. He told us of some ruins in the mountains called Machu Picchu. I offered to pay him 50 cents per day to take us to the ruins and he agreed. So, well, basically, uh, basically here it doesn't say, it doesn't say he, he discovered. No, lo descubrió. Yeah, so he didn't only. En esta pregunta, da a entender como si fue en Tambo. No fue, entonces en otro lugar. But, yeah. well, not, Con trampa. Yeah. No, he didn't. No, he, no, he didn't, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, no more. Now, how much did he pay Artiaga? Uh, 50, 50 cents. Uh, uh, he, uh, he, 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 he paid 50 cents per day. He paid Artiaga. 50 cents? Per day. Per day. Okay, good. Number three. Was the climb to Machu Picchu easy? No. no it was. Oh. It was exhausting. No, it wasn't. It, it was. was it was exhausting. Exhausting. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Now be careful, please. Was the answer wasn't, wasn't. was okay? Yes. So it's not correct to use did or didn't. It's not correct, huh? Yes. In this case, yes, because it's did. Did, did, didn't, was, wasn't, was, okay? Okay. Now, number four, where did they eat? They he ate. In the grass hut. They what? They eat. They eat. In the little grass hut. In a what? Grass hut. In a, I understand, oh, in a blah, 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 hut. In a blah, 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 hut. But what is this, blah, blah, blah? I don't understand. It's a little grass hut. A little grass hut. Ah, a little grass hut. Grass hut. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? G-R-A-S-S. G-R-A-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
It's in what paragraph? Paragraph four. four. So four. to clear the forest. So they cut down the trees. Yeah. Correct. Cortaron los árboles in the forest. Forest is bosque. Okay, forest is bosque. So to clear the forest is como limpiar el bosque. ¿Cómo lo hacen? Cutting down, cortando, cutting down the trees. Okay, is this clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, and we finish unit six. Yeah. Okay, so remember, on Monday is your exam parcial, your midterm ex mid exam. Okay. And it will be at 11 in the morning. Okay. 11. What? Nada, <laughs> teacher. Okay. Nada, nada. Okay. So, any questions? No. Okay. No. Hello, one uh, clarification. Okay. Um, I think the last, well, the last day of class is the 2 of October. Okay. Quiere decir viernes. De aquí dos semanas todavía. Justamente porque se comenzó un poco tarde, entonces todavía hasta el 2 de octubre. Ahora, el día viernes 2 de octubre es el examen final. El jueves, que okay, es primero, es la entrega del project a las 10 de la noche. Luego, en esa misma semana, el lunes 28, es la entrega de la primera parte de su project, que es el, el writing. ¿Está bien? ¿Qué día, profesor? Monday, lunes. que es lunes 28. Okay. Es el día de la entrega de su Question. project. Una pregunta, right. Yara, Yara, sí, te disculpo, dime. Sí, este, lo subimos en PDF o en Word, el, el, en nuestro reporte individual. Lo tienen que subir en PDF. Ok, ah, lo, lo voy a poner sí. ahora, mira, para que ustedes vean. Una hoja nada más. Eh, les dije que tenía que ser máximo mínimo de 100, ¿recuerdan? No. ¿No les dije? No. Ya bueno, no. estoy diciendo. Ya pasa. Obvio, mínimo. Fecha ya lo acabé. Ya lo acabé. Ya, te voy a poner para que los cinco líneas nomás. No, teacher, no, no. No son 100 letras, ¿eh? No son 100 letras, son 100 palabras. 100 palabras, ya. Ok, ahí hay las aclaraciones claras. Ya. Yeah. Eh. Palabras. Okay, vamos a ver aquí. Basic file. Eh, poner activar edición. Mira, aquí están todos los videos, eh, así que no, no hay excusas, eh. Que no entiendo. Ah, revisa tu videito. So, vamos a poner aquí, a ver, ¿dónde podemos poner? Si lo ponemos afuera, puede ser también, ¿no? Sí, puede ser, puede ser. Vamos a ver. Uh, lo vamos a poner como un... ¿Tarea? Mm, puede ser, sí, ¿no? Ya no está el otro, que era el foro. Ah, sí, el foro, ¿qué tal? No, no, pero a lo mejor no. Tarea no más. Ya. So, project. Okay, project. Okay, aquí pongo upload here your writing. Okay. Vamos a poner permitir entregas desde el día de hoy. Ya, desde el día de hoy pueden entregarlo, ¿eh? Si lo hacen antes, chévere por ustedes, ya se, no se preocupen, ya lo pueden entregar. La fecha de entrega igual sigue siendo el día, les dije, 28. Sí. Ok, 28, les voy a poner desde el 28. O oh, bueno, si hay un día de enter, permitir entregas desde... Ya, la fecha de entrega lo estoy poniendo desde el horario de clase, ¿ok? 28 a las 10, desde esa hora. No, bonita de las 12, de las 12. De media día. Ya, fecha límite. ¿Y se puede fecha límite? ¿Se quita otra cosa? Ah, no, ya. 
a ver, entonces la fecha límite, 12 y 1. Ya, vamos a ver. No, por eso vamos, pues. Estoy poniendo que tiene entregas desde. Es el límite de fecha de entrega, no alguna fecha de entrega. Ya, fecha límite de entregas es el 28. 28 a las 10 de la noche. Le dije que si a las 22 horas. Y la hora está exactita, ¿eh? así que, claro, bueno, calificar 2030. La 29, 29 a las 10 de la mañana. No, 11, sí, 10 de la mañana. No, 11, sí, 11. Ya, a ver. Está en octubre. ¿De octubre? Hoy sí. ¿Cómo? No, sí. Ah. Si el final es el 2 de octubre, un día antes no sería el primero de octubre, tenemos que presentar mucho antes. Sí, sí, no, solo que acá está en octubre, pero este, recuérdame calificar en septiembre. Eh, ¿Noviembre? Noviembre. No, pero estoy hablando, estoy hablando de la entrega del writing, de la primera parte, no del video, ¿eh? El video ah, sí es el primero. Ahí puso primero. El... ¿Dónde sí, puso? Noviembre. Oh, noviembre. Ah, no, es que mi cumpleaños fue en noviembre. Mi cumpleaños también, chicos. Ah, chócalo. <risa> ¿Qué, 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 qué, qué? Ya está, a las 11 de la mañana. Ya está. Archivos enviados. Número de archivos subidos. Máximo uno, así que no se equivoquen, porque solo van a poder subir una vez. Revisen bien. Tamaño máximo de la entrega. 10. Tipo de archivos aceptados, solamente estoy poniendo para que lo acepten los el PDF. Solo PDF, miren, eh. Solo PDF, no hay Word 2017, no hay Word 2010, 2003, 2020, no, no, ya. PDF. A ver. Ahora todo claro, eh. Tipo de retroalimentación, entonces en línea, o menos. Acá. Configuración de entrega. Tienen que, por favor, poner en envío. No solo subir el archivo, sino poner enviar. ¿Ok? Porque cuando lo suben, sale borrador, me sale a mí, nada más. Tiene que salirme enviado. Permitir reapertura, nunca, jamás. Pero jamás es. ¿Ok? Avisos, no, no te aviso nada. Calificación. De 0 al 100, ¿ok? O oh, no, aunque es entre 2, ¿no? Así que 50. ¿okay? Uh -huh. 50, bien. ¿okay? Y aquí hemos terminado ya. ¿okay? Lo guardo. Y aquí está en Project, ¿ok? Ese de aquí es donde ustedes van a tener para poder, eh, poder subir su tarea. Ahora voy a formar un foro. Dentro de este foro, es donde ustedes van a publicar el video. El video, pero el video completo, ¿cierto? O el enlace. ¿Qué publican acá? Enlace. Enlace. Thank you. El enlace, pues. Yo veo que publican el video directo. Ya, ya ni se preocupen en, en su nota, ¿eh? Okay. Here goes only the link of the, the video. Okay. Ahora, luego esto lo voy a cambiar, lo voy a ajustar, pero miren. Ahí ya van a tener ustedes el foro okay, del project. Entonces, si ponen part 1 y part 2. Okay. El Project Part 1 es su documento individual. Okay. En la próxima 50. Y el Project Part 2 es el foro. Okay. Cuando ustedes entran al foro, ¿qué es lo que van a hacer? Es como cualquier foro que existe en la vida, es un blog. Van a añadir un nuevo tema de discusión. Okay. Y cada uno, todos los miembros del grupo, tienen que escribir, no solamente un miembro del grupo. Profesor, pero es que mi grupo lo pone. No, no importa, es tu grupo. Okay, pero tú tienes que subir tu enlace igual. Voy a ponerte tu nota. ¿Ok? Ok. Lo tienes que poner acá. Añadir un nuevo tema de discusión. Asunto. English Project. O el, lo que le hayan puesto. Mensaje. Y el mensaje de 
ponen mujer y los miembros de su grupo igual. Ahora, ojo al piojo, solamente voy a recibir los trabajos de los alumnos que están incluidos en los grupos que les corresponde. ¿Ok? Solamente en el grupo que te corresponde. ¿De acuerdo al sorteo que se hizo? Si estás si apareces en otro grupo, bueno, habrá pasado magia, pero por magia también no tendrás nota. ¿Okay? Así que eh, mi recomendación es de que puedas meditar, arrepentirte y volver a tu grupito y pidas disculpa por salir. Si te has salido, te has entrado, si nunca respondiste, si dejaste en visto, ¿no? Todas las cosas que vuelves a tu grupo y yo preferiría tener mi nota. ¿Ok? Recuerden que los trabajos son virtuales, no tienen que ir a comer pollito al abrazo, un cevichito, no se puede. Ya no se puede. Así que no les pido que falten a las formas del gobierno. También les pido que los guarden. Ok, okay thank you so much. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye bye. teacher. Bye bye. Ya dice presen, pero presen para el lunes. Saludos. Ok, bye bye.